um, as a woman of color, I'd have to address this as an issue that at times we feel so disenfranchised and constrained and feel that we can't do all that we want to do or be all that we would like to be. Again, we'd have to make some hard choices with regards to where we live, the career choices that we make, and again, forging ahead and helping to push those barriers back because Again, when we look at the financial constraints that really impact women that are in abusive situations, it is when I stepped out from Centennial College because I was sessional, one sessional period to another sessional. And for those that don't understand, a sessional is you're actually on contract for a period of time without any benefits. And then your contract is renewed and it's renewed. And after a certain amount of time, if you're not offered a full-time position, you would have to leave the institution for two years and then you can come back. So it wasn't by your choice. If you weren't offered a full-time position after two years on sessional, you'd have to leave the institution and then you could come back as a sessional. Now, for me, I felt that was very limiting because with a graduate degree, my expectation is that I would have a full-time position. I was qualified, I was able and capable. And my students and clients obviously thought that I was because of the letters that were sent and, and, and which I received. However, I was never offered a full-time position. These are positions that I went after. I filled application after application. So what I've learned in, in the meantime is that networking for women is so important that we'd have to network and network and build a network so that you can get to where you want to be. But isolating yourself, and again, isolation is one of the forms of abuse that our partners use to keep you cut off and separated so you have no support. So when you have financial abuse, emotional abuse, verbal abuse, isolation, and all the other forms, we really have to make choices that would help us to become independent beings. And I think without that financial piece being addressed by the workers within the agencies and women that fail to take this into consideration, we have a problem. 